Performa Nation, Performa Heroes, welcome to the Performa Podcast. I'm your host, Peter Sirs, and we have a very special treat today. Um, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Uh, my guest today um, is the founder of the Bucked Up Supplement Company, um, founded in 2013. He's been the managing partner and CEO. Um, they went from just a normal supplement brand, right, to you guys have the number one pre-workout and is that, is that in the world? Uh, I would think that it's probably in the world. Um, we're selling a, a ton of it. So that's doing incredible. Good. I mean, I love it. And like we were talking off air, but um, it's I'm a huge fan. Like you started, I know you guys started with like the deer antler spray. And then you guys just, you put your head together and you came up with a pre-workout formula that is second to none, in my opinion. Um, and obviously, I'm sure you feel that way as well. But anyway, guys, uh, let me introduce my actual guest, uh, the CEO of Bucked Up Supplements, Ryan Gardner. Hello, sir. Uh, how's it going? It's going great, man. You, you guys are, are in Utah, right? Yeah, we're just south of Salt Lake City. Okay. Um, you know, we're just in American Fork, Utah. So it's about okay. 35 miles south of Salt Lake City. Okay, awesome. Um, and uh, okay, so let's just talk about this evolution because I know uh, I I remember uh, this is like what like 2013 or summer yeah when, 2013. But you guys started with the deer antler spray, right? That was like your right. first venture, and I remember hearing about that. And wasn't it outlawed like in the NFL for like a while? Or yeah, we were we were actually domain buyers, and we had an affiliate network, and we had drive traffic to people's websites. But we also bought domain names and built out websites for people. Got it. So, so what we did is we bought some domain names that got really popular, like exact match domains when it was really popular at one time. If somebody typed in, like we bought a, a domain name called lrgenine.com okay. for, like, <clears throat> for like 25 grand. And um, we were like, wow, this is kind of expensive. But we actually sold a product called LRG9 Plus. And it was a single product. And we were selling 30 or 40,000 bottles a month because we were ranked number one. When somebody would type in LRG9, we would rank number one right. because we SEO, had an exact right? match domain. Yeah. Right. And so what happened is we read a, a, an article in Sports Illustrated and they said, hey, Major League Baseball bans deer antler spray. And we were like, we thought it was a hunting product. So <laughs> anyway, so we ended up doing, uh, um, we ended up buying the domain name deerantlerspray.com. We found out a person that in Florida that could produce deer antler spray. And we started selling deer antler spray. We thought it was going to be like another L arginine product where we'd be selling millions of, of dollars worth of, of product. Well, we started only selling about 12 or 13 bottles a day. Oh, wow. And then Ray Lewis got accused of taking it right before Super Bowl. Got and it. Ray Lewis was a really popular NFL football player. He had torn his tricep three weeks before the Super Bowl. And during me media week, a guy said, hey, I have a receipt here that shows that you bought deer antler spray. Well, guess who owned deerantlerspray.com? We, oh, okay. So it blew up really fast. The very next day, obviously, we were getting calls from like GNC Vitamin Shop saying, "Hey, we'll skip all the lines. Uh, we want you to bring it in." So we brought it in. So uh, you know, GNC brought it in the very next day. They were like, "How fast can you can you uh, get us thirty thousand bottles?" So we got them thirty thousand bottles that month. So where'd so you get them? But where'd you get them from? Like you guys were already making them. Well, we were already producing deer antler spray. We bought, we ended up buying right. like 3000 bottles was like the minimum order quantity. And so what happened is we were only selling like 12 or so right. a day. And the thing is, is it was like, man, that we hope to sell out 3000 bottles before they expire. Right. But then Ray Lewis about eight months later got accused of taking it right before the Super Bowl. Okay. So it, that's when we sold it all in one day. Got all it. of the box. I mean, and what, what, what is it? Uh, any publicity is good publicity kind of yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Any <laughs> okay. publicity is good publicity. So, okay. So I, I, I'm a person that uses the deer antler spray. Um, mm -hmm. And I know there are people, there's, there, there's going to be people listening to this that are like, it doesn't work. It, do, it, it does nothing. Or I mean, there's just any supplement for that matter. People will say that. So like to someone that will say that, 
as obviously the representative of the company, like what, how do you combat that? How do I combat that they say it doesn't work? Yeah. We just say, wait till you try it. <laughs> That's okay. usually what we say is because, uh, you know, it's that same hormone that causes their antlers to grow. It right. contains a slight amount of IGF-1, insulin growth factor one, and it causes their antlers to grow really, really fast. I mean, even during their growth phase, they're growing like an inch a day. Right. So it's that same hormone that's causing that. And we work with deer farms all over the world, uh, you know, like New Zealand, they have the red stag deer, which is found to have the highest amounts of the IGF-1 um, and all over the place. So what we do is, um, you know, we, we say, hey, you know, you may have tried some in the past, wait till you try ours. We have a, a really good technology to help with absorption. Um, right. It's a sublingual spray. So you spray it right under your tongue. You hold it there and then you swish around and swallow it. But we always say, hey, wait till you try it. We don't have anything to prove. We just want you to try it. And once you try it, you'll see the results. Yeah. So, so you guys, the, the main place is New, is New Zealand, you say, uh -huh. right? There's a specific, specific there's deer, deer farms all over, the, all over the, even in the U.S., there's deer farms. Okay, so. got it. Um, and then uh, obviously, you know, that does well. And then you meet heads. Well, you then what we did is we said, hey, what everybody's really taking now is a pre-workout. It's right. a pre-workout. And we said, hey, uh, let's come out with one. How are we going to do this? And what we did is we ran into a guy here at our office that now works for us. We ran into him and he owned his own GNC franchisee. He was Got a it. GNC franchisee. He owned his own store and he was one of the top selling stores this side of the west uh, the, of the mississippi so we said hey could you come in and help us formulate a pre-workout or even a line of supplements and he said sure i'll i'll be more than happy to to help you I'm, he's like hey this is where i think things are going where they're non-proprietary blends um he th says uh we need to use clinically proven ingredients at their clinical dose not just half dose them and things like that. And so we just said, hey, well, what should we call this pre-workout? And we said, hey, let's stay along with the deer theme, the buck theme. And we called it right. Bucked Up. We went out and looked at the domain name. Bucked Up was available for like 1500 bucks and we knew the power of domains. So we hurried up and purchased buckedup.com. And then we launched Bucked Up dot, uh, the Bucked Up pre-workout in January of 2016. Okay. We produced a thousand bottles. We went to the Fit Fit Expo in in Los Angeles. That's yeah. That's right. I think that's where we met or uh, where, I, where I discovered. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. that's the thing. I'm pretty sure because I, I went to that. I've gone to that. Area. That's where I'm from. I've been to everyone. Obviously, you, they didn't have it. You've been going for a while. Yeah. Since it so was we, like 2016, we launched that with a thousand bottles. We sold all one thousand bottles there at the at the expo because we were like, Hey, look, you can see exactly what we put in it. We said six, six grams of citrulline, two grams of beta alanine. These are all the clinically proven ingredients at their clinical dose and all thousand bottles sold at the expo. Wow. So, and the flavor is great. It tastes good. Well, that's, so that's, that's the main, like, obviously, like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not patronizing, but like, that was one of the things was like, Oh, this, this stuff tastes great. It yep. doesn't have like, it doesn't leave, you know, like, you know, I've, I've tried all of them. I, I don't want to name all the brands, but you guys know what's out there. And they some of them, they make you like your teeth feel like they're rotting yeah. or you have like a nasty taste or like, I mean, some of them are like, I like, feel like it's like a punch in the mouth and with like, with bucked up, it's like, it just tastes like I'm like all the flavors. And, and, I, and I don't even like stuff like, like, like the rocket pop or whatever, like stuff like that. Like I wouldn't normally like that, but it just works somehow. Right. And it, right you, you don't feel like the stuff in your teeth and like you don't crash which is another thing that a lot of pre-workouts right. um you know i feel you have um, some really good ingredients in there to combat like yeah. alpha eyes for long focus and energy so there's there's a lot of really good you know ingredients that we use and then also you know we'll, we'll be the first ones to admit everybody's trying stepping up their game when it comes to flavor and taste there's still people right. I mean, I, I try everybody's pre-workout and I'm like, I'm impressed that they're, you know, they're catching up to our taste, you know what I mean? But right. we still have a very simple formula 
yet it actually works really, really well and it's easy to flavor. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, and you guys, I, I'll give you guys some props to, um, they have the best flavor names if I'm being yeah. honest. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you like, got some slack for some of them, but you know, like great games like Killer OJ was. That's the best. That's the best name, one. dude. I show that whenever I'm taking yeah. that, I show it to someone because, you know, people, I'm always in the gym and whatever. And like, oh, what do you take? I'm like, well, right now I'm taking Killer OJ. <laughs> and as a matter of, and then it's funny too because I, I, you know, I use stand up. And uh, one, one of my good friends who's also a stand up, um, her mom is the judge. Uh, her name is, oh God, she doesn't have the same last name as my friend, um, but she's the judge that put OJ in, in prison in Vegas. She's like the, yeah. she's a district attorney and or no, she's a judge in Vegas. Her husband's a district. Anyway, um, I was like, look at the name of this fucking pre-workout, dude. It's Killer OJ. She loves it. Like, it's just great. Like, but like, you know, like sets on the beach or welcome yeah. to my, like, just great marketing and everything. So, I mean, and I'm sure that comes from like, you know, you guys have a background and like, you guys ran a social media company, right? Because you have a twin brother who's also yes. your partner, correct? Yeah, and he runs our social media site and our ambassadors. And so what we do, we, we've done really, really well in the past with social media. We, you know, like I said, we had an affiliate network and we were driving right. lots of traffic for people. And we saw the trend that, you know, um, you know, social media was really taking off, you know what I mean, for us. So that's what we... Um, we specialize in is driving traffic through social media, through ads and everything else. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, obviously like the way the algorithms work, you know, what you click on, you see more of, but like, I yeah. have seen some great, like, uh, I remember you guys did like a little short with like, I don't know if it was, I don't know how long pump apocalypse has been out, but like uh, you guys did a great promo with yeah. like, it, it was like apocalyptic cool like, video, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like that was great, but I don't remember. I don't think I like, like I didn't seek it out. It just appeared, but I was like, oh, this is great. Like, so that's just the power of if you know what you're doing social media wise. Um, so how did you guys learn that stuff? Because that's obviously like, that's a big part of marketing these days, right? Well, you know, actually, um, believe it or not, we didn't know much about it, about <laughs> social media. Okay. We had a whole bunch of companies hitting us up saying, Hey, I can drive social media. I can get you followers. I can get you, you know, uh, all, you know, likes, I can get you all these things for your social media accounts. And so we kept trying all these different companies and we realized most of all these different companies, they're all fake. So uh... all the fake followers, all these fake likes. Well, we ended up stumbling across this one guy who told us, Hey, um, I can do social media. And we were like, Hey, well, let's see what you can do. And in three weeks, he did more than all the other social medias uh, companies together combined. And they were actually real people. Right. So we said, Hey, please come out. You're from Florida. Please come out to Utah. We'd love to hire you. He comes out, we hire him. And he's like, Hey, these are the tools that I use. These are the tools that I help get you followers. These are what I do on Facebook. This is what I do on uh, you know, Twitter and Instagram. And so we were like, but why don't these tools, why aren't they able to do this and this and this? And they're like, Hey, if they could figure out a way it would have been done. So what we were like, well, that's not always the case. So we ended up developing our own software tool, our oh, own gosh. social media software tool. And actually all of our ambassadors, when we first started, got to use this software tool. So it helped them all get really, really popular and next thing you know, we have millions of eyeballs on our brand because it's not necessarily what we say about our brand, because we're always going to say we have the greatest products, right? But it's what everybody else says about our products. Just like you, you're like, Hey, it tastes good. It works good. I yeah. love it. You know, that type of thing that takes more credibility than me saying, Hey, I got the best product. Right. You know what I mean? So we helped all of our ambassadors grow with our ambassadors, uh, with our software program and that's kind of how we, we did it for, you know, lots of companies because we had a, an affiliate network and we were doing this for a lot of companies, not just our own. Wow. That's great. So, so um, that's, that's what we did. And so, okay. So then the, so you, you guys start with, obviously, you know, you start with, with deer antler, you go to pre-workout and then now it's just become like, you guys have everything. 
I, yeah, I we've know. got a full line of supplements. Um, you know, just in pre-workout last month, we did 400,000 bottles of pre-workout. I mean, and that's just pre-workout. That's not counting protein, BCAAs, not, right. none of that. I mean, we're, we're doing some massive volume at this point. You know what I mean? And, and yeah, I mean, you guys, you're carried in all the supplement stores and stuff, but like, do you guys find like, are most of your sales online or like in store? No, most of them are done in store, but we do a couple million dollars a month on, on our website, wow. but we, we, we set things up appropriately and, and we put in some things in place that help everybody win. Like for instance, we have Matt price. So even with, you know, on Amazon and eBay and everything else, we have a map price that we say, Hey, this, our product is sold for this and it doesn't sell for less. Right. And then what it does is it gives the opportunity for mom and pop stores and people to succeed as well, because they don't have a person walking in with a phone saying, Hey, I saw this on Amazon. I, I, will you match the price? Right. And if I wanted to be really ruthless, which I don't do this, but <laughs> If I wanted to be ruthless, I could set up a wholesale account with any of my competitors and go out on Amazon or eBay and sell it for less and then go to these mom and pop supplement shops and say, hey, look, I can sell this for, you're, you're selling this for this, but you're going to have to price match it because look at it here on, online for 20 right. bucks instead of 40. You won't be able to make any margins with their product. You just sell mine. You know, right. So there's some things that we've done and we've set up so that everybody wins. And that's yeah. really, at the end of the day, everybody has to win in order for this to work. Yeah, so. I love it, man. Like I said, like I, I, I feel like I've tried everything, like it have so much stuff, but like, it's like, yeah, it's not just pre-workout anymore. Like, like, I know like that's like what started it and bucked up right. kind of like, it's like a pun. Cause you're like, yeah, I'm like I'm bucked up right now. But like, there's so many other things, um, even like the energy drinks, which I yep. love to, like, I can just talk about all your products, like all day long. I tell, I tell people that all the time, but um, as Ooh. like, a, <laughs> as a, as a fitness person, you know, I have to ask some questions. Um, like, I don't know what non-proprietary blend means. Okay. <laughs> A non-proprietary blend is something uh -huh. that discloses everything that you're putting in uh -huh. your product and the amounts that you're putting in those products as well. So back Got in it. the day, a lot of formulas had this thing that said, here's three, you know, 3,500 milligrams of a proprietary blend. And you really didn't know what they Got were it. actually putting in that 3,500 milligrams. You never knew if it was the cheapest thing, which was caffeine caffeine is super, super cheap. And they could have been putting three, 300, 400 milligrams of caffeine. So you feel jacked up on. It. Right. See, and we came in and said, here's a non-proprietary blend. You can see exactly what ingredients we put in at what amounts. Got it. And once we did that, it changed the game. Like people couldn't refute it because they would go back to their, to our competitors and say, well, they're putting six grams of L-arginine in your in their product. How much are you putting in your product? And they would have to answer that question. And at the end of the day, you found out that they were putting a gram of citrulline instead of six grams. Right. And you found out that their formulas weren't really working that great. But when they took a product with clinical studies on their clinical amounts, they found out that the product worked really, really well. Even right. though it was a little more expensive, they found out that, hey, this is how much better performance I'm going to get from it as well. So it, it, it's all helped us in, our, in, in the right. grand scheme of things. Uh, so how, what's your, like your, what's your fitness? Because obviously you have to have, you have to care about fitness to start a fitness supplement brand, right? Well, we're not like big time fitness guys, but we just want a really good workout. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Like we want people to, we want to come out with innovative products that people can really feel a difference when they're taking our product. Yeah. And that's really what it came down to. We're not these big muscle guys. We haven't been in the gym. We go to the gym three, four days a week. Well, we just like to stay in shape, but really get a good workout when we go work out. Got it. And that's what that's, you know, we haven't necessarily been the fitness guys. We're more of marketers, right? Got it. Okay. But the guy who I hired that ran a GNC 
obviously he's a big time fitness and ingredient guy. We go to ingredient shows every year now called Supply Side West and Supply Side East, where we go and we're looking for these proven, clinically proven ingredients. And they're like trying to find a diamond in the rough. And we try and find these companies uh, that have really good studies that we can make claims, obviously, but they also have the proof that, the, that their, their ingredients work. So like, you, to do. you go to like a conference, you're saying, and like, they just have like, okay, this is X. And These like, are all the ingredients, all right. the latest and greatest of ingredients that have come out. And these are our trademark ingredients or even just ingredients that have been proven to work in a certain field, you know, like okay. help with focus or help with energy or help with, um, with uh, absorption. These are all some of uh, those are all some of the ingredients that we use. Got it. In our the, the focus is uh, the nootropics, right? That's like a big thing right now. Yeah, right a now, no, nootropics are very, very, uh, very, very popular. And, you know, yeah. you know, we're, we're trying to come out with innovative products like uh, that people don't have. You know what I mean? And even some of our future products that we have that are, we're planning on coming out with, you know, nootropics is a big part of that, you know, because yeah. people like the clarity and focus and everything else. Yeah. Um, any, any plans to like for something that would make me more attractive to the opposite sex, like, like a pheromone or something? A pheromone, aphrodisiac. <laughs> or pheromone. Yeah. Well, we don't have anything like that planned. Damn it. Uh, you know, Get we'll have guy I, on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The hopefully only by working out in the gym and everything else, you right. start becoming more attractive. It's, you know? it's an, in, yeah, it's an indirect uh, result. Uh, yeah. I just, yep. I was hoping maybe like, cause I mean, I'm not a big guy. I'm just, I'm a fit guy. Like I run marathons yeah. and whatever, you know? So like if I'm squatting 185 pounds and then there's a guy squatting 400 pounds next to me, the person's going to look to the person, you know, yeah. like I'm, 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 I'm lifting nothing, but they're not seeing me when I'm out on the road running 10 miles or whatever. So I need like, you know, just something like like a little hormone that goes out to them and right you know, i don't know yeah we'll we'll, we'll we'll look for that like in the future maybe okay <laughs> yeah, well we have uh, some other future products like buck bars you know like protein bars that were released uh -huh. buck shots uh you know there's just a whole bunch of things that we're doing like uh energy shots and a few other things that we're, we're, we're going to change the game on a lot of different categories it's even more that's what i'm talking oh, about yeah. i, mean, I, I oh, love yeah. it yeah, I feel, I feel like there's always like something new coming out and you're like, ah, oh, I got to try this. I'm like, damn yeah. it. Stop coming yeah. out with new stuff. It's just like, it's just like, I mean, you know, obviously this is a pharma podcast, uh, but like, you know, they'll just drop shakers and shakers. And then I have all these shaker cups and then my girlfriend will be like, you don't need any more shaker cups. I'm like, no, you don't <laughs> understand. I do need more shaker cups because I don't have one with a unicorn on it or like yeah. if they come out with them i have to get them like that's just the way it is right yep yep so you you work so you could support your habits like i don't right. i don't know what else there is um all right let, let me ask you some i'm gonna ask you some hard questions now ryan okay, sure uh, who are uh three people in, and they're not really re there's not a transition i'm sorry guys i'm not good with transitions not even in my stand-up uh, who are three people in your life that have been the most influential? Um, and you don't have to know them either. Um, so, so probably the most influential people, my parents, number one, we were born and raised on a farm and they taught us how to work really, really hard. And okay. then also um, I have a twin brother. So, you know, we've always been in together and we both have been influencing each other our whole lives. You know right. what I mean? So, you know, our, my, my two parents, obviously they've, um, you know, taught us to work smart, work hard, uh, born and raised on a farm. I mean, we were out, I mean, we had, we were taking care of horses, cows, chickens, all of it, all growing okay. up. So what, we kind of, what kind of, what kind of farm? Just, uh, just a farm. It's one that you live off of. <laughs> okay. So we had, we had like, um, you know, like five acres in which we, had to, you know, um, we had all of our animals. And then we also had across the, the street from us, we had, you know, three acres of corn and uh, oh, wow. tomatoes, beans, all, all of it that we would have to grow every year. In Got fact, it. we sold, 
you know, we were selling eggs and corn door to door all summer long. And, and that's how we provided for our school clothes. So when you were kids, when we were kids. Oh, what a great lesson. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we, we, we were always up. I, I, even still now I'm an early riser because we were up milking cows and yeah. taking care of the animals early, early in the morning. So, you know, yeah, I'm up at 530 and I can't sleep past 530. So, isn't that weird? Yeah. That, I'm this, I mean, I'm, clock. <laughs> I'm at the age where like, no, I can go to bed late or I can go to bed early and I still wake up around the same time. Like it's just the way it is. Yeah. Uh, my the reason I was asking about the farm listeners know, but my girlfriend is from Oklahoma okay. and uh, I helped out on their farm last summer when the pandemic was going on and I couldn't yeah. work anymore. So I'm very well versed in many farm things. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to milk a cow though. I did not do that, but I do know like yeah, I, I was, was all manual. <laughs> okay. I was, I was responsible for like feeding the cows, uh, feeding like the, the, the general cows and then feeding the cows that, you know, close your ears. If you're a vegetarian, the ones you got to like fatten up because they're going to be eaten at some point. Sorry guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, he's the CEO of bucked up. I'm assuming he eats meat. I, I, eat, just, I eat a little bit of meat. Yeah. We actually launched buckedupbeef.com. So we have Wagyu. Oh, I see. You know, it's premium meat. You know what I mean? So it's good. Yes. Now, Wagyu is uh, from overseas, yes? Japanese. Yeah, it's Japanese. a Japanese. It's, it, it's a Japanese line of meat. Yep. Interesting. And so what do they, and because I don't know, what do they do different in Japan? Well, it's just a little, uh, these are a little bit, you know, their genetics for Wagyu, the genetics of Wagyu has uh -huh. a little bit more fat, you know, so they're a little more marbly. They taste, the flavor is unreal because it's so, you know, it has a lot of fat, but uh, yeah, you know, fat isn't necessarily a bad thing. Of course. Of course. So, yes. That is know, good. You need some fat, fat helps you realize, Hey, I can slough off more fat. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, in the old days, you know, I've been in fitness for so long, you know, in the old days, it was like a low fat diet, right? Low fat. Right. And then now we know it's like, actually, not really the case. It's more about eliminating the sugar. Fat's actually good. You need a decent amount of fat. Um, I don't want to get into conspiracies, but there was might have been a partnership between the sugar companies and and, and the food administration that were like, tell them, tell them fat's bad and they can eat sugar, it's whatever. But uh, yes, you need fat is the moral of that story. Uh, wow, so yeah, I, I kind of have to try some of this beef, man. Yeah, it's uh, really good. Buckedupbeef.com, right? Is that what you said? Yep. Okay, so, you're, so, you're, so your brother and your parents are three yep. most influential, right? Awesome. Yep. Um, okay, if, uh, I guess we could talk about like launching a supplement. What's like a, What's a common myth in your profession? Like we get to call it supplement industry, a common myth that you would like to dispel? Well, you know, everybody can come out with a great product, but it's not necessarily how great the product is going to be. It depends on if you can get eyeballs to that product. Got and it. a lot of people think, hey, I could just launch this. This will do really well. And it may be an unreal and un, uh, crazy good product, but it's not going to matter if nobody sees it. And that's really the myth that most people think, hey, I could just launch this product and it'll do really well. Um, but, but really at the end of the day, it still comes down to being able to market it and get it out. Yeah. So yeah, eyeballs. How do you get eyeballs? You gotta be good at social media now, right? That's well, you gotta be, social media is a big, big part because a lot okay. of people are on social media. Who's not on, when, I mean, let's be on, like, I understand, I guess like, no, because Leonardo DiCaprio is on social media too. But like when people are like, I'm not on social media, I'm like, how are you not? Like, yeah. I, you don't have to be on all of them, but like, I, you're not on one of them. Like, how do you know what's going? Like, are you just watching the news? Like you have to be informed somehow. Yep. Like, because if you, if, if you have a business, you better be on social media. You have to pretty much be on social media. Like if you want your business to succeed, you have to be on social media. Like you, you right. don't exist, right? Right. Like you said, you have to have eyeballs on it. Um, okay, so you can create a good product, but you still got to get eyeballs on it. I like yeah. that. That's good advice. Um, okay. Um, if, uh, if you were me, uh -huh. okay, 
what question would you have asked yourself that I didn't ask you? Um, I have no idea. I mean, <laughs> Peter, you're I, so good I, at your I, job. I, I'm just trying to see if there's like some secret yeah. sauce or something. Uh, what's the code to your pin, your bank account number? I don't know. Shoot. Yeah. I, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure your bank account. No, is. you know, I think that, you know, a lot of people think, um, you know, I, I do think that, uh, there's some people who think, ah, oh, it just, it just came and, and all this thing just happened to work. You know, there was a lot of things that had to take place in our business that we had to hit the nail, uh, the, you know, the, the head on the nail, like to be right. perfectly honest, there's a lot of things that took place and things fell in line that we just hit the nail perfect. You know what I mean? To make it work. It's a lot, it's it's very difficult to break into the supplement and even the energy oh, yeah. drink in, industry. And, you know, there were a lot of things that we got very, very lucky on. And then there was a lot of things that I look back and I go, yeah, but we learned that from doing this and this and this and this. And through right. experience and through these different stepping stones, we got to a place where we're like, yeah, we made the right decisions because of all the hard work and experience that we had, but right. there was some luck involved in it as well. Like we happened to buy deer antler spray.com and it, Ray Lewis got accused of taking it and BJ <laughs> got accused of taking it and Alabama football team got accused of taking it. Like all these things helped us. Right. With our business, you know what I mean? So, so have you met Ray Lewis? I have, and I've taken a picture with him and everything, but <laughs> he didn't know. I was the owner of deer ah. either. <laughs> so if he found a, out, he probably wouldn't have wanted to take a picture with me. So. I had a fun, I had a funny story about Ray Lewis many, many years. Gosh. Have you met him? I, so this is the story. So it's had to be like oh five, oh six, probably. I'm at a club in LA because that's what we did back then. Um, and I was dancing with this young lady. She appeared to take a liking to me and uh -huh. then two minutes later her friend comes and whispers something in her ear which I don't know what she said but because of what happened afterwards it probably went something like this hey this guy is in the NFL they have a bottle over here and a table let's go hang out with them instead of the guy that you're hanging out with now and then they left and then she was at Ray Lewis's table and I was like oh really and what am I supposed to do? It's Ray Lewis. Right. Like, I can't, I can't just be like, Hey, Ray Lewis, I was talking to this girl. Like he's going to yeah. kill me. Like yeah. he's twice the size of me. So ever since then I was like, Nope, not a Ray Lewis fan. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Um, tell everyone uh, where they can find you on socials. Um, so it, it bucked up CEO on, on Instagram and TikTok, And then, okay. uh, and then you can just go to buckedup.com to our website. Yes. Uh, I usually fine. just use those specifically, those uh, okay. you know, Instagram and TikTok. I'm not the biggest guy on social media, you know, as far as getting, going out, posting and getting followers. So, but and you run you know, a company that's very, yeah, our company does all that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, uh, okay. If I was a person, I mean, I could tell you everything that I take, but like, if someone, you meet someone on the street and they're like, okay, everyone's trying to get in shape, right? And they're like, oh, you, you, you own supplements? What should I take to get in shape? What would you tell them? Like, like basic, literally, I mean, obviously you can take everything, but like yeah, a starter kit. Um, so the starter kit that I would always suggest with uh, Bucked Up is um, the, the main starter kit that I would say is you know, pre-workout, BCAAs, protein, and some deer antler velvet extracts, some deer yeah. antler spray. Um, those are the, that, that's the basic, the start that I would start people on. And then looking at what they want to do or how they want to perform, then that's where I would go from there. You know right. what I mean? Like yeah. if they're like, hey, I want to get a little bit more lean, I would add like heat or heat fat burner, or I would have them take all bulk, no bulk, blow. Yeah and have them take stuff like that if they're looking to lean and put on some muscle, you know, that type of thing. So depending on what they want to do, that's what I would suggest. But, you know, 
as a basic person, uh, you know, the basic one-on-one, yeah. I would be- definitely say, hey, take a pre-workout. You'll work out harder, longer. Take BCAAs. They're the building block of, of building muscle and everything. And then um, I would definitely take a protein within 30 minutes after their workout. Right. If you want to take creatine for strength and out power output or putting on some muscle, you know, there's a whole gamut of things that they could take. And then I know this last question, because I know you, you probably get this a lot or people get it a lot um, with anything, but especially like a pre-workout, right? At some point there becomes a point where you get tolerant to it, right? People are like, oh, my pre-workout, this doesn't work anymore. Right. And I know the, I know the answer to this question, but as you know, obviously the CEO, uh, what would you tell that person? Well, you know, we're always the type that tells people always take a break. You know what I mean? Because a person will say to us, hey, I used to feel an awesome pump on your product, but now I don't. Or the caffeine used to hit really hard and now it doesn't. People get tolerant to these types of things. And like when you take in six grams of citrulline and you're taking it every day and sometimes twice a day, nitric oxide builds in your system and you got to allow that to flush out. Right. So, you know, as much as I want them to keep taking my product, I <laughs> always give the advice and you probably see me on some of the you always, know, the ambassador yeah. programs and stuff like this. I'm always like, Hey guys, it's always good to take a break, yeah. take a break for 21 days off caffeine and nitric, you know, anything that produces nitric oxide. Right. So in your system. So those are the types of things that I would always suggest. And you know what people, people are are even more loyal to us because I'm just being honest and truthful that says, Hey, take a break every once in a while, take a break, yep. go two months and then take a 21 day break or take yep. even a 14 day break. And you'll see it'll hit again, like really, really hard. The body just has a way of building up tolerances to things like caffeine and to nitric oxide and things like that. You know, one thing I always do, we don't really sell it, but you know, I always take, um, L-lysine as well. Um, and it also gets rid of any, it helps you regulate nitric oxide in, in your body. So, you know, sometimes I get a little canker sore on my tongue or something and I'm like, man, what's causing this? And I thought I was eating something salty or chips or something. And all I had to do is take a little thing of lysine that I can buy on Amazon for five bucks. And so, and it gets rid of it. So it's really, really good. And it helps regulate nitric oxide in your, in your system. But, you know, these are some of the little things that we do. We want to give you advice and, and have you guys perform at your, at, at, at your best. Yeah, that's, that's what I say. I tell like, I know it's hard because sometimes it becomes like a mental battle, right? You're like, I need this pre-workout to work right. out. And like, yes, it does enhance, it does. But like, if you want to keep getting those benefits, then yeah, you do have to take a little bit right. of time off. Yes. And, yeah. and you'll come back and just go just as hard. Now, I just to be honest, I have a really hard time not taking bucked up every day. I don't take <laughs> Bamf, I don't take woke because I think they're super, super high stimulant. Yeah, and it's right. a lot. But I, I, take I take bucked up every single day. And, and okay, I have yeah. a hard time taking a break. But okay, I feel don't it. Listen to Ryan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't listen to Ryan. You do have to take a break. But yeah, yes. when you come back, you can step it up. Like, so yeah, you, they touched on it, but they also have, they have their regular pre-workout and then they have some stuff that's a little bit stronger. So you could go there, but there will be a time where you probably should take some time off. And then Yes, correct. correct. Mm. And I never do the hard stuff. So I don't really, you know, build up a, a tolerance. Like Banff is, is high stimulant with some nootropic ingredients in it, like Cooperzine A, Hordenine and some other uh, ingredients in it. And then like woke AF has dendrobium and synephrine. So those are also additional stimulants. So you're yeah. pushing a lot of stimulants. So it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone that knows me, they're like, you just worked out, huh? I'm like, yeah, yeah. dude, I'm yeah. jacked right now. Jacked so, uh, yeah. dude, cool. Ryan, thank you so much. Um, I learned a lot. I hope our listeners learned a lot. Um, continue doing great things. We're excited about bucked up. Um, I'm excited. Um, and you guys follow Bucked Up. We'll put all the links in the show notes. Um, but uh, this has been Ryan Gardner, CEO of Bucked Up. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Hang on for one second, you guys. We'll see you next week.